वेलकम टू एक्सप्लोरिंग एक्सेल आई एम अमे एंड इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ ब्यूटीफुल एक्सेल डैशबोर्ड मॉकअप यूजिंग पावर पॉइंट नाउ जस्ट गो एंड क्लिक ऑन द ब्लैंक प्रेजेंटेशन बिकॉज वी नीड टू जस्ट यूज अ ब्लैंक प्रेजेंटेशन नो नीड फॉर एनी फैंसी डिजाइंस यू कुड सी दर ले आउट राइट नाउ इज द डिफॉल्ट ले आउट विच इज अवेलेबल जस्ट गो ऑन टू ले आउट एंड क्लिक ऑन ब्लैंक Once you select the blank layout, now this is ready for your dashboard. One thing to be kept in notice that this is a full screen. That is, you could say that this on this whole page, your whole dashboard would be mocked. The first thing you can go is go onto the Insert tab or or on the Home tab there is a Drawings option. Go onto the Insert tab and then on the Shapes, click on this shape and just insert a big amount, big shape. This shape would form a reference like you have to create a dashboard inside this sheet what i will do is i will just go to shape fill and no fill now there are some borders here let it be or if you want to just make it dark just go on to format tab shape outline width and just increase the width i, I would suggest to go for a 6 width so that it would be some a great the next thing you can do is just go normally and just go on to the shapes and explore some of the shapes and then insert it here like is suppose if you want to just have a dashboard heading here so just go and drag it here for the dashboard headings now i'm just going to just do it some ready made formatting styles here yeah this one and just write your heading for your dashboard heading for your dashboard once this is done so this is the decided place for your heading another place you need is for the exit that is for the ending of this dashboard that is down below here this would make it the dashboard much professional i suggest this should be one fourth of the above length so if it is four rows it should be a one row so that would make it a good proportional dashboard now remember according to dashboard principles i will just insert a grid lines here so that it would be much better or visible Now in this space, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first key information should be placed here, and the second key information should be placed here and down below. Here you could place the third key information, and here some other information. So that you need to be aware of creating this type of chart. Now first thing I will do is just go on here, and then either you can go here and just select any of the shape, and now. according to the previous method you could just actually mock up your dashboard but in this method you can just allocate spaces for your dashboard not mock up it very easily so i will just just make it here some arrangements and i will make it something like uh, your kpi 1 your kpi 1 and then here the down below i will just make it something like this here uh, a big data is there here something like uh, if you have um, some 10 to 12 years of charts or something like this so it will be presented here and again copy this and paste it here uh, and place it here so that the third data and in the center i can just reduce this space and in the center if anything key important information is there available i can just demonstrate here so i will just put it here or else and i will just format it with some different shape color shape color should be very dark red so that you can understand this is a very key important area this shape will i will just use a shades like if you want a big kpi then it just make it green this is a little less important place so just make it little less this is the least important space or else you can just keep it like this so you can understand that the which is the kpi this is a heat map analysis in this you could see that the first kpi is placed here which which catches the most utmost attention of your customers or your dashboard users whereas this catches your second attention this third and this is fourth these two are the mandatory elements so as your dashboard is completed in this heading place you could write the name of your dashboard or else some key information points on this footer you could write 
for whom the dashboard is made and by whom the dashboard is made thank you very much hope you can implement this in your business dashboards have a great day